Hey, welcome back, guys. I've had a couple of phone calls on uh, fuel injection system on the new Archers. I uh, just thought I'd go over a couple of things that I found, problems that I've run across with the uh, flow divider and fuel injector lines system. Everybody's finding contamination in the throttle body, um, greens, and some different places. So I just wanted to go up a couple quick things. If you got a run problem on the new Archer with the fuel injection 360, uh, let's get turn around here and I'll show you what I found so far. Okay, guys, if you're getting some run problems, here's the first thing you want to look for. You got spark plugs running lean and spark plugs running rich, which tells me that these cylinders are getting more fuel than these cylinders. So that's the first sign that you got a fuel injection problem. So let's go out here and I'm gonna show you where I think the problem is coming from first. All right, so here we go. This is where I think the fuel injection metal contamination is coming from. Proper fuel cap operation, number one. Hear that scrape? It's cutting. Proper fuel cap operation is pushed down. That's just a seal squeaking, but rather than all of that, if you push down, it helps. So where's that contamination coming from? Here's the lock tabs on the bottom of the fuel cap. And over time, you can see, buddy, they really cut in, wear these things out. These have been replaced, but that's a lot of little metal particles going through your fuel system. Yeah, so that's where I think the particles are coming from. So we'll go to the next step and I'll show you how to get it out. All right, next step is get you some cups. Make sure they're clean. Get them the best you can. That one's still got something in it. Some good clean cups. And you want to go inside. I'll show you that here in just a second. Full mixture, full throttle fuel pump on till you fill your cups half full. All right, here we go. I'm gonna get the master switch turned on. Throttle, mixture full on. Uh, up here, fuel pump. We got fuel flow. Just watch to make sure you get some in your cup. Yeah, you can see it's squirting in. I'll run them through there for about a minute. That red one's about three quarters full. Uh, okay, that should be plenty. Fuel pump off. Extra throttle closed. Master switch off. All right, so I'm going to pull my cups out again. Make sure all your fuel screens are clean. That's the first and foremost important thing. Um, look at all your fuel in your cups here. Make sure they all look like they float about the same amount. These look pretty even. And then if you look down in here, if I can get it. You can see the little shiny specks in there, so we've got definitely metal coming out. The green one's pretty clean there. There's just a little bit over in the corner. Hard to see on camera. You can see the little sparkles in there. The blue one seemed to have had the most. You can see it in there. All that little white looking stuff is a, is a little metal flake. So hopefully, again, clean your fuel injectors when you do this. Um, hopefully that'll take care of your problem. Every time I've done this so far, it does run better after the fact. Screens, this is flushing out the flow divider. Make sure there's no particles stuck inside of this. Get everything out of your lines and then, you know, pull your, uh, pull your fuel injector apart there and, and uh, 
clean it up real good make sure there's nothing stuck in it and that should solve your problem but again fuel screens everywhere uh, this is the important one here there's a there's a fuel screen inside the throttle body right here that's your final catch make sure that one's clean get it out and hopefully that'll take care of your problem okay guys so what's my final take on this number one teach your students and kids and staff proper fuel cap usage how to properly use the fuel cap push down don't just grab the thing and turn it it's cutting filling your system with metal number two fuel screens check them the one in the throttle body and hopefully that'll fix your problem this one wasn't running too bad so i'm not going to do a run test till we finish and finally if you take a fuel injector line loose remember to comply with the ad note on the fuel injector lines for final, final final take on that. Thanks for watching. You guys have a great day. Hope this helps.